Okay, let's look at this function. We can see that with the power of three, this is going to be a cubic function. That's the parent function. It's a cubic function. And the inverse of the cube is a cube root. So power function of three, the inverse of that is one third, power of one third or cube root. So let's first start by exchanging X with Y. And now we can list the order of operations, adding one, cubing, raising to the power of three, and then multiplying by two. We reverse those and use the inverse operations and we get divide by two raised to a power of one third or cube root, and then subtract one. Divide both sides by two, and then cube root. And then subtract one. X divided by two, cube root, and then subtract one. Note that the negative one is outside the grouping symbol, which is the radical. So our inverse function is the cube root of x over 2 and then subtract 1. Let's graph both of those and see if they were reflections of each other across the line y equals x. I've graphed the line y equals x. I've graphed the original function and I will graph the inverse. I'm going to have to use the keypad here. I have the cube root under functions. There are other ways to get there, but this may be the fastest under miscellaneous. And then we choose the number uh, of the root. I'm um, choose three for cube root and move into the function. Type in X divided by two. Move outside the function. And then subtract my one. 